We are trying out Star Trek Online. This game has been around for six or seven years or so. Um, I've seen people playing it, but I kind of hesitated to try it because it is an MMO from what I hear. Um, but the more I hear about it, the more people are saying really good things. So I just wanted to give it a shot. I picked to join the Federation starting off um, as a human. Um, kind of made my guy look a little bit like me. Not much, but a little bit. Um, and okay, so for all of you diehard like Star Trek fans that like know the show, know everything about the show, I know there are color schemes that are the way they are on purpose and are set for like rank and things like that. I just don't care. I wanted a blue shirt, so I'm wearing a blue shirt. Get over it. With that being said, let's check this out. We are going to try and boldly go where no man has <clears throat> gone before. Live long and prosper. Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. Dope. Those of you that don't know, uh, that's actually Leonard Nimoy. Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Holy shit. Millions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Ah, oh, so we're at it with the Klingons, huh? That's why I couldn't be a Klingon. The Romulans want revenge <coughs> on the lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. <laughs> that that was pretty dope. Let's give it to these Klingon bitches. Assume be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. Basic control of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasmus is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet, you ugly bastard. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. <clears throat> well, tell Tavral to... Shut it. I mean, this game's pretty. You can tell it's kind of old. Greetings. 
things. Rescue said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Hey, Cadet Morik. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged <clears throat> ensigns. The fuzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. Good afternoon, Cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I get my training cruise assignment? Yes. Assignment list here. Name? I am depraved slasher, and I really, really want to pet you. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind. <clears throat> Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Of course, there's a problem. This looks really fucking cool. <clears throat> You asked to see me, sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Well, thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores. But I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Hmm. I know that program is advised for tactical officers, sir, but I thought I had more time to take it. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Yes, sir. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass the advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. It's because of me. I made us all better. <clears throat> Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, press and hold the left stick while Last moving. one of the console buys the first round tonight. I don't even know where the console is. I'm following you. What kind of bullshit is that? And I ain't buying you a damn thing. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky holiday. Have any advice for me? I kind of want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. What kind of tactics can I expect? It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako Assault Training. You're setting up the program. Are you making it easy for me? The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. I'm not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then, though. Phases I'll need a phaser. By the you can grab one there. Let's go.
Give me a phaser. Oh, Miss Cadet Lady. <laughs> Begin program. Well, uh, hello. Headshot. Headshot. Satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. First officer, sir? Excuse me? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. First officer. Way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. It's a lot of pressure. I hope I'm up for it. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send off toast. Ceremonial send off toast. Yeah, I'm gonna be a first officer. First officer. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. You are a bitch. I like you. It's your bitch. <coughs> hmm. Fleet of toast. May I have everyone's attention? We are the senior staff of the USS Horror. Each and every one of us is trained for the task at hand, and we are ready. I look around this room and see fear and uncertainty in your eyes. Being responsible for so many lives is a heavy burden. But we will go forth boldly like Starfleet has trained us, putting to use everything we've learned here to Starfleet Academy, to the USS Order, to her crew. <clears throat> There's nothing really to do here. I don't know why you wouldn't be ready to go. Let's go. To the moon, Alice!
auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's... I bet you can. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Uh, we're finally about to boldly go where no man has gone before. Well, look at that rendering. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Sounds good. Cadet the Brave Slasher, Acting First Officer. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Where's the captain? Captain Hubbard is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Sounds like a plan, Miss Ma'am. Thank you. Let me out. Oh. Captain Taggart, sir. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, Sounds good. We need to get out of the dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good. Nice. Oh, Flora, send the original or send the signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Moorings? Beep 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 beep. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters on paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Yeah. Press the X button while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. First officer's chair, bitch. This is so cool. Makes me want to play bridge crew. Look at us light speeding into fucking nowhere. Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Break Even. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tabrell. This is the Break Even. Can you hear me? So our work order is failing? We could really use some help here. Sounds for Ringan. We're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Okay. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training cruise? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break <clears throat> It's strange that the, that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? We need more information before we get in there. I 
actually. Shields up, sir. Yes, sir. It could be a trap. Where the fuck am I going? Do we really got two lifts? We do. <clears throat> Rock, the break even should be in range. Give me an update. Can I pet you? Uh, I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadek of the IKS Chalk. I'm about to fuck y'all shit up. Rack, come in. What happened? Rack. This is cool. We just got invaded by Klingons. No, security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. What can I do to help? Command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? Still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Yes, sir. Oh, this is cool. Get a rifle. You need to equip your phaser rifle. To do so, press the options button. Oh, this is fucking dope. Well, he didn't make it. Oh, did you kill one of my people, you jerk? All right, let's see you up, buddy. I know how to improve the ship's weapons. Move, kids.
Really? You motherfucker still ain't dead? Look, I didn't kill your officer. Boost power to force phasers. Sir, I'm away. This has been pretty dope, yo. I ain't even gonna lie. For a start to the story, like. Why are you just standing there, Anthony? Move your ass. Alright, bitch. We're gonna heal you first. Oh, you're fine, Morg. Get your ass up. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chalk. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Yeah, you cling on bitches.
survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. Our ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. Oh, I am the captain of this ship. Decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Tavel, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress <coughs> call, <coughs> Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying, Alyssa. What's the status of that Klingon ship? She's still cloaked. But I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zara of a damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the break even? Hail them, Travel. Hailing the break even now, Captain. SS Break Even. This is the Starfleet vessel USS Horror. What is your status? Well, this is awkward. Durango. I called it Ferengi. I knew it. Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. And the Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Don't suppose you could lend me a hand here? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. Let's see what we can do. Press up to increase your ship's speed. Press down to decrease. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir. But from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. I was adjusting it anyways. Scan that some bitch. Repair that shit. The fuck out of here. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Zarva, do you have the damage report? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite the beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to work. Any ideas, Alyssa? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the R2 button to fire energy weapons. Oh. Getting annoying. Morning. 
Can we not move any faster? Oh, dear God. Uh, that's good. Remember the Klingon who wants us dead? I need you to work fast. You have your problems. I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. <laughs> Lisa, give me a status report. Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Any chance we can determine what's jamming communications in the system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. <laughs> Sounds good. One down. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. How's that? Bitch. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Do it. We need to find them before he ambushes Understood. us again. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Finally, we have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Make it so. Sir, we should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Multiple birds of prey decloaking. Uh, I would. High yield torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Hey, little bitch. Zarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else.
Um, Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. On screen to bro. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We were ambushed by Klingon marauders. Pretty bold move to come this far <clears throat> into Federation territory, even for Klingons. Where is Captain Taggart? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. And you're the acting captain. Yes, sir, I am. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for Earth Space Dock. We'll get you back in one piece. What about the Klingon who killed Captain Taggart, sir? Kadek is still out there. Believe me, Cadet. If he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. Alright, so you're tired of this. Time to finish the fight. Zarva reporting for duty. Okay. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode of Star Trek Online. Um, pretty interesting game so far. I'll, I'll give it that. Um, it's going to have some things that I'm going to have to get used to. I'm not, not really used to like space combat scenarios and the way that they're doing it here. But um, not bad. Uh, if you like the video and want to see more, let me know. Hit that like button. Um, well, slash that like button. Like it's a horny teenage camp counselor. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I cannot wait to see you depraved people later. later.